smoking with the Migos. It's just me and me and Migos. Uh. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is going to be showing you guys the car. As I promised, it's the next day. I don't know why I really, you know what, I'm just going to make the intro right now. I recorded a little bit yesterday, but um, I'm just going to record the whole video today. Um, so as you guys can see, my car is officially back home. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tease you guys anymore. Um, I got the car back about two days ago and haven't really done anything with it yet. I had to order some parts. I had to go to some shops for some quotes because, as you guys know, I'm not gonna. I gotta repair it myself. I'm not gonna drive it, you know, as is. It looks pretty bad. So as you guys can see from the rear, and as you guys probably saw in the thumbnail. They have not fixed my car. The car is still, um, you know, messed up. Uh, so basically, the car drives fine. There's nothing wrong with anything. There's no lights on the dash. Um, I mean, there is a PDC light, but that's because we actually took off the PDC sensors. So that really doesn't matter. That's going to be perfectly fine. So overall, the car is solid. Drives fine. Everything's fine. Quarter panel straight. All right, so guys, coming on to the rear. As you guys can see, tail lights busted. Um, I feel like there's a little bit of an alignment issue right there. Um, with the tail light, I'm not sure yet because I haven't put on the other tail light yet But I feel like that gap is uneven from like right here to like right here So I don't know. I'm hoping it's not that big of a notice. I mean from right here. It's flat from right here It's you know, luckily everything is perfect quarter panel. They marked it up right here as you guys can see I don't really see the issue. I mean if you're looking at it aside it looks perfect from this side it looks great I don't really know why they marked that up. I don't know if maybe quarter panel got pushed in a little bit. I don't know. I don't see the damage. Um, looking at it right here looks great. You know, the, the, the crash bar part over here is good. So this is where it gets super ugly. This is, if you guys don't know, this is where your battery sits right here. So my battery right now um, is functioning. The battery is not smashed. But the, the battery is pretty much, it's, it's not smashed, but it's smashed in there to where you can't get it out. Um, and you know, obviously I don't want to sell the car like this I don't want to keep a car to where it has an issue like this So I'm gonna have to try to figure out a way to pull this out if any of you guys are um, If any of you guys in the area are you know, you guys work in a shop a body shop Have a frame pull or anything like that that can hook me up with a good deal um, Help me out. I went down a few shops and the cheapest thing I got so far was $450 um, for the for them to just pull it out and I just find that kind of crazy You know, $450 for them to just put my car on there frame puller and just, you know, pull out a frame. I mean, I, I really, just in my mind, $450 is kind of crazy for this. I don't know if that is the price. Maybe I, that's just how it is. I'm not sure, but if you guys can find me anyone that's cheaper um, in the Sacramento, Elk Grove area, even Galt, anything around that vicinity, I'm 100% fine driving out there. And if it's your guys' shop, I'd be more than happy to come down. But yeah, I could put on a bumper, I could put on a tail light and just call it a day. But let me show you guys what the main issue is in the trunk. And also the spoiler is missing because I took it off when the accident happened because it was super loose. I'm probably going to mount the spoiler on uh, probably today in this video. But um, if I put up the trunk, the alignment, everything's perfect on the trunk. There's no issue. Luckily, all this is perfect. But as you guys can see over here, let me get a flashlight real quick. So you guys, actually you guys probably see that. Um, right here, you can see the metal is coming out. And on the bottom down there, you can see that the metal is pushed toward the battery. And the battery is smashed against the wall right there. The battery is not dented. Everything seems to be working just fine. There's no lights on the dash or anything like this. This car starts up perfect. Um, I just disconnected this because I wanted to see what the heck was going on with the tail light. But yeah, tail light obviously is completely shot. Um, I think only one light works, but I have all kinds of errors for that tail light. So I already ordered a tail light. I'm gonna be replacing that in this video because you need, I need the car to be legal. But as you guys can see, the metal is pushing in there. I wish it, the accident was on that side. I would, it really wouldn't matter, um, but that needs to be pulled out. It's just crazy how you missed, he missed the crash bar right there. I don't understand, you know, it looks like he, I don't know if he did hit the crash bar, just like he completely missed my quarter panel and he missed, hold on. Actually, looking at it now, guys, you can see a little bit of a crease right there. Um, not that I really care. I mean, that's not that noticeable. But uh, right here, I just—I honestly can't believe he just completely missed my crash bar and he missed the quarter panel. He just went like straight for the straight for the, the battery compartment. So again, guys, any of you guys are in the area that can help me out with that, that'd be great. Car drives fine, drives like a dream, drives like how it should. I love the car and uh, you know, I had to get it back with a settlement check. So this is what really went down at uh, with the insurance. If you guys don't know who Jacob Ardodi is, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna plug him in this video. His link's gonna be down in the description. Check out his channel. He really helped me out through this process. He explained to me, you know, what you can do in a situation like this. Is it worth getting the car repaired? Worth paying off your loan? Um, worth just getting the cash fixing yourself? So 
After a lot of phone calls, and as you guys know, weeks at the insurance and the repair shop, I finally got them to give me the check. So basically, they quoted a, a little over four to five grand, I'm not gonna say the exact amount, to fix this damage. Um, to me, that just seems like not, that just seems absolutely crazy. Um, but then again, my insurance is gonna cover that. Or I get to have the check myself and pay off this car or pay off the majority of the car. I have around $8,000 left on this car. That's a number I will give you guys. And let's just say this fat check really helped out paying the majority of this. And I have a little bit left. And I plan on paying it off very soon. So that's going to be great having this car paid off. And the damages are minimal. It's not that big of a deal. So yeah, guys, I'm really happy. I hope you guys are happy to see this car back here. Um, I do plan on getting another car though because this car is gonna be paid off. I'm gonna have no monthly payments. I'm gonna have nothing, you know, crazy. and still low mileage, it's still very reliable. I don't know if I might sell this, I might not. Not sure yet, but let me get the car repaired and everything to where it should to look, you know, to look as great as it should have been before the accident. Without further ado, guys, um, let, me just, let me replace the tail light and I gotta replace, I'm gonna put on the spoiler because the car looks pretty bad as, as it is and I wanna make it, you know, as presentable as possible. So I'm gonna add the spoiler on there, I'm gonna clean up the trunk, put on the spoiler, and I'm also gonna put on the, the tail light so it's illegal. I'm hoping there's no issue with the tail light. I'm hoping there's no coding issues, no nothing like that. Hopefully just plug and play and, um, Let's just see how much we can get done today. All right, guys. So here is the new tail light I ordered. Um, this is a 330i 2006 tail light. I don't know if it really makes a difference if I got any other model, but um, I got the exact make and model, so I don't have to deal with any issues, any you know plugs. Um, this also came with the bulbs, which <laughs> if you guys are ever trying to get bulbs for your rear tail lights, just get it with the whole housing because this came out to be like 40 bucks, and each bulb's like 10 dollars. So technically, I got the housing for free, and I got you know some extra bulbs. All right, guys, tail light is in there. I'm gonna go ahead and start up the car, see if I have any errors. Um, but something I noticed, not you know, not too off the bat, but if you pay attention to it, um, a little bit of an unalignment right there. It's not perfectly flush. You know, that's something you can live with, especially when they give you a settlement check of almost paying off your car. So not that big of a deal, especially when I put on a bumper, it's gonna come up everything. There's not gonna be a single thing that can you can really tell. So I'm really, really happy. Um, you know, at least the tail light fit in there perfectly. The lines, the gaps are all really good. So um, I'm gonna go ahead, put the keys, and start the car and see how it looks. All right guys, so pretty much as you guys can see, tail light's working, so I'm happy with that. Alignment's pretty good. Um, pretty good, not perfect, but um, you know you can live with that uh, again, especially with a settlement check, because that settlement check, as it you know as it states, you know helps you and you settle down. And you're happy with what happened. So basically, the check, if you guys don't know, is going to be paying off the majority of my car. This car was financed, and I'm almost going to be done with it. And you know having something that's just cosmetic is not that big of a deal, especially the fact that it didn't damage anything externally. It's mostly internal, which means when I put a bumper on there, um, you're not really going to be seeing much. So without further ado guys, tail lights working, car is finally legal, so I won't be pulled over. I mean, if I'm not having a bumper, I should not be pulled over for that. I have my plates, I have my tail lights, I'm good to go. Um, but I'm gonna be slapping on the spoiler because the rear end doesn't look perfect. I mean, maybe if I had a giant wing on it, like those new Lamborghinis nowadays, you know, they just like completely just take off the bumper and everything, even the trunk maybe, and they just put a giant wing on it. Actually, no, they keep the trunk. But yeah, they just add a giant wing on it. Yeah, that's not happening. But I mean, it, it's doable, that's workable. I'm gonna be rolling with that for now. Until I get the frame pulled out, not the frame, but the subframe. If any of you guys can help me with that, that'd be great, or recommend some place that does it for pretty cheap. That would be awesome. So without further ado, guys, I'm gonna add the, the wing on it so at least it has more of a presentable and tasteful look. All right, guys, so I cleaned it off for the most part. I mean, this part, it's kind of being a pain in my booty. I'm just not in the mood. So anyways, you're not really gonna see it. It's all good. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, get the spoiler out of the back wherever my mom put it, and then um, go ahead and uh, put some 3M. So let's see uh, the difference. So this is before the ugly looking 
Huracan with giant spoiler looking bumper thingy McBobber. I don't know even know what I said there. And then I'm gonna have the giant, giant wing that's about to be right up here installed in a few seconds. All right, obviously guys, it's not still not perfect. I mean, I obviously didn't cover up that entire uh, bottom end of the car, but with the spoiler, it makes it more presentable, and with that tail light, it makes it legal. So guys, honestly, what I got left is the pull out the frame. Once I pull it out a little bit, um, it might even fix that tail light alignment just a little bit, and that would fix everything. And so if they pull that out, and if you guys, again, if you can hook me up on that, that'd be amazing. And then once that happens, I just get another M-Tech bumper, throw it on there. I might go M3, M-Tech, M3. You guys let me know, but I'm, I, I love the M-Tech look. So I'm probably gonna stick with the M-Tech and get like a custom carbon fiber diffuser or something like that. Um, yeah, guys, again, if you can help me out of that, with that, that'd be amazing. And without further ado, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm hoping that you guys are happy that the E90 is back. And a lot of you guys wanted it to be totaled. Um, Let's just say the fact that I got it back with the settlement check, I I could probably still whoop out a 335 if that's what you guys want. So if you guys are excited about that, smash that like button. Let me know down in the comments if you guys want me to finance a 435i after I'm done with this car, or should I go ahead and just buy a 335i cash? You guys let me know uh, what you want me to do. But I really love the 435i, it's always been a dream car of mine, but at the same time, I don't know how I feel about uh, staying in another car loan. I used to be a big fan of car loans, but now I'm just completely against them because it really sets you back and you know cars depreciate. I'm a fan of I guess with home loans because even if you're financing a home, you know the homes tend to appreciate. It doesn't depreciate as much. I don't know where I'm going with it. You guys can see I have just such a business mind. Anyways, car is here. You guys let me know what kind of builds you guys are expecting to see, what kind of builds you guys want to see. And let me know if you guys are happy to see the E90 back. I did give her a little bit of a wash. If you guys follow me on Instagram, um, you guys will see that it was so dusty, interior and exterior. I gave it a clean wash from the inside and the outside. Made it as presentable as possible. Got it to where it's legal today. Put on a spoiler. We're almost there, boys. So I'm happy, it's back. It's, I love the car to death. And the, when I got the 2018 Camry as a rental, this car still, feels a whole lot better than a 2018 Camry. I True, I like the gas mileage on a 2018 Camry, but this car drives 10 times better and it's an 06. So um, BMW is still ahead of the game. I love their cars and um, I'll probably never cheat on BMW ever. The Thief DZ did not hear that. Anyways guys, the giveaway is still up. So if you guys don't know, I, I set up a giveaway for some air scoops. I'll show you guys actually on this car that I'm repping the air scoops. You guys can see it's that faint red, um, you know, style in there. I love air scoops. It just, I mean, first things, it's supposed to cool down your engine um, faster. Uh, second thing, it just looks great. So I'm obviously repping it because it looks great and I'm a ricer, whatever. Um, next car though, if I get a 335 or 435, can't call me a ricer anymore. You know, you do what you love, you do what you, do what you want in your own cars. Um, this is just the path of choice for this car and everyone that's seen it always complimented it, so whatever. Again guys, if you guys want to enter the giveaway, the giveaway link will be down in the description. Remember to stay humble and uh, stay strong guys. See you guys in the next one, peace out. She got me saying, yalla huh baby. I need you to see me Quit with the front and then put your guard down Girl, we know you ain't easy She got me saying, y'all love her, baby I need you to see me Quit with the front and then put your guard down Girl, we know you ain't easy You know